Hallelujah. We give honor to all today. Amen. We're looking forward to a great time in the house of God on this day. Amen. Because the Lord just keep doing great things. Glory to God. We do give honor to our Facebook audience. Amen. On today, those that have been following us for uh, almost three years now uh, on the Facebook and those our members, our live members in the house and those uh, that are waiting for three o'clock to come. Amen. God bless each and everybody. Yeah. Amen. And on today, we're looking to the hills from which coming our help. Yeah. But our help coming from the Lord and we yeah. know where our help comes from. I thank the Lord how the Lord is blessing us here at the Miracle House of Prayer. Just uh, a few days we will be celebrating that we will we'll be honoring 70 years uh, on the first Sunday in May. 70 years. And we celebrated in November but we honor it on the first Sunday in May. God is a good God. He has kept us and never left us. And we are grateful for that. And we are grateful for, for a whole lot more. So we say to you today, enjoy what the Lord shall do in the midst of the miracle house of prayer on today. And I, as I say all the time, this is a good day to have a good day. At this time, receive my lovely wife, Pastor of the Miracle House of Prayer, Pastor Lorraine Coleman. Thank you, Bishop uh, Lorenzo Coleman. Thank you, the Miracle House of Prayer. Praise the Lord. I just bless the Lord on this morning. It is so good to be in the house of the Lord. Yes, I honor our mothers, our missionaries, evangelists. Musician, our guests on this morning. We bless the Lord uh, just for being God. How many know He's a great God? Oh, yes, he yes, He is, and He watches over His people. Yeah. I would like to say that you can write Bishop Coleman and myself, P.O. Box 681973, Houston 77268. Yes. Or you can call us also, 800- Thank you. 
we thank you for the honor spirit and they that worship you must worship you in spirit and truth. We give you all the glory on this morning and God's people say amen. You may be seated. At this time we're going to give the service into the hands of the capable uh, Minister of Music, Evangelist Bernard Wortham. Afterwards, our bishop is coming to us on this morning with the message for today. Let's give him glory. Let's give Jesus praise with a hand clap on this morning. Oh, 
that are anchored in all of these false deities and false religions, that they will not give it up for their life. Well, what about being in Christ? That's the way we ought to be in Christ. We ought to be so dedicated to, until whatever it costs, whatever it takes to be anchored in the Lord, to be dedicated in the Lord Jesus, uh, we ought to pay that price. Amen. No matter what it is that we shall give up. No matter what the situation might be. As long as we are dedicated to Christ. As long uh, as we are anchored uh, in the Lord Jesus. Now I know the very popular song that has been popular for years uh, uh, Anchor in the Lord uh, uh, Amen uh, by uh, 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 Douglas Miller that, that's a beautiful song yes. but when I began to revelate Amen and the Lord Jesus began to revelate this message to me he had me to emphasize that don't just preach anchored in the Lord because there, as I said earlier, there are many Lords. You see, in other words, uh, whatever is the Lord of your life, that's a deity. Whatever it might be. And it don't have to be the Lord Jesus. Now, I'm thankful that there are millions of people that are anchored in the Lord Jesus, but everybody that's anchored uh, in their Lord uh, is not the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. There's some people, uh, uh, amen, uh, they got the brand new Escalade, or the brand new Cadillac, or the brand new Chevrolet. That's their Lord. They shine it up on Sunday morning. They drive it down to the beach. When they get back home, they go out and they wash the sand out, wash the sand off the wheels, and never drive to the church. That's their deity. That's their Lord. Glory to God. Don't get me wrong now. I'm not saying that we can't have the natural things of life. I'm not saying that because that would be an error. That would be a, a contrary to the word of God. Because the word of God tells us uh, to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these other things will be added unto you. Oh, in other words, uh, once being anchored in the Lord Jesus, there are many blessings that follow. Glory to God. He can, he'll bless us to have a, a pretty good bank account. Oh, Lord. That's all right. When we are anchored in him. Glory to God. Anchored in the Lord Jesus. So we have to be careful. Uh, when we go around preaching to people. Uh, you know you ought to be anchored. Anchored in what? We got to make it plain to them. Amen. Why? Because even in the society that we are in now. It never has been as bad as it is now. As far as people seeking Things other than God yes. to worship. Glory to God. It, it hasn't been this bad, and I know what I'm talking about. Being 78 years old, I've been there and I've seen some things. Glory to God. But in the time that we're living in now, we have to make that gospel plain. We have to explain, we have to break it down. If I may use the word exegete, we might uh, break it down that, uh, that a fool would hear. In the time that we live in now. Glory to God. Amen. So anchor in the Lord Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. I remember back. Uh, amen. When uh, every once in a while you'll find uh, somebody singing. Uh, I will trust in the Lord. Amen. But that, that used to be uh, uh, every Sunday song there. Yeah. I will trust in the Lord. Glory to God. But now. People are trusting in themselves. Glory to God. And that is a no-no. Right. We don't have enough power because that is a deity called the devil, Satan, and he is going to and through, to and 
throw, seeking whom he may devour. And we don't have uh, no power that would overpower the power of Satan unless uh, we have the power of the Lord Jesus that lives within us. Yeah. Glory to God. I know there's a lot of preachers that are afraid to preach this kind of message. Yeah. But the thing about me is that I love Jesus. Mm -hmm. and, and whatever the Lord say, yeah. that's what I'm going to say. Yeah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter who accepted it, who rejected it. Hallelujah. As long as I can hear the Lord say, well done, that good and faithful servant. I'm talking about while I'm here on this earth. Now, I know going up yonder is going to take care of itself. But I got to obey him down here before I go up yonder. Glory to God. Amen. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm looking forward to someday. I don't know when. Hallelujah. I don't know when. But I know one thing, I want to be prepared. Amen. Glory to God. And I want to obey him, do everything that he say do down here because I don't want to knock on that door and he say, depart from me, you worker of iniquity, I know you're not. That would be a, a catastrophe if I live 55 years and leave here and go try to knock on heaven's door and the Lord himself said, I hear you knocking, but you can't know me. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. If I had a, another chance, I might change the topic of this message. <laughs> I hear you knocking, but you can't know me. Ah. ah, glory to God. I'm going to make sure that he don't tell me that I can't come in. And then why? Because, listen, I'm going to anchor myself in the Lord Jesus. I'm going to anchor those that will follow me. Follow me as I follow Christ. Glory to God. Now I, I admit, amen, that sometimes I uh, do make mistakes and I, I have to go and repent to the Lord. But well, my God, why do you think Jesus paid the price for our sins? And that is, if, if we make a mistake, then yes, get it right. Amen. You, you want to get anchored in the Lord. Amen. We're going to have to learn how to repent. Hallelujah. How is it that we can go around uh, and talk to people any kind of way? We get caught up in a situation. Talk to people any kind of way and just go right on. Hallelujah. Go right on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You know what Jesus is doing? Jesus is looking at that, and you know what he's doing? He's laughing. He said, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Come on. Glory to God. When we are anchored in the Lord Jesus, we show a sign. Yeah. We don't have to go around with the sign on our back or on our chest. Let that sign live on the inside. And everything on the inside is going to come out. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Amen. I, uh, I was riding with a saint. Amen. Back, amen, some time ago. And something happened. And uh, one young man, we were coming over the Shilchum Bridge. And, uh, you know, he uh, kind of slid, slid toward the wall. And uh, I would go there hollering, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And y'all excuse the expression, but he, he was over there saying, Got to be more careful. What kind of prayer is that? You about to have an accident talking about, Got to be more careful. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you didn't say that no worse than that. Glory to God. Amen. So I'm saying, amen, when we are anchored in the Lord Jesus, uh, you see, when, when things come up unexpectedly, what are we going to do? We're going to holler, Jesus, Jesus, help Lord. Amen. See, when you are anchored in the Lord, when you're dedicated to the Lord, you look at yourself and everything, amen, that's in your heart that's not like God, you work on it. You work on it, and you keep working on it. You dedicate yourself, amen. We're supposed to, amen, sanctify ourselves 
according to the word of God, sanctify yourself. And the Lord will sanctify you holy. Glory to God. Oh my God. Yes. He wants us to be holy. Yes. And it's not a denomination. I don't, I don't mind. I, I'll preach at any church that would open the door. Amen. Why? Because I'm going to go in with the Holy Ghost. I'm a, I'm a, if I get a chance, I'm going to sing. We well, all try to sing. And the Holy Ghost. Amen. If I get a chance to testify. The Holy Ghost is going to direct me. And if I get a chance to preach, look out. The Holy Ghost is coming. O-U-T. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. See, I have, a, I have a lot of Baptist churches that, that I have visited ever since I've been saved. As a matter of fact, my oldest sister was uh, a first lady of the Rising Star Baptist Church. And, I, I, and I'll tell you, at least once a year, they, they invite me to preach uh, uh, Sister Ruthie at least once a year. Come on. Now, I, I don't know why it was only once. I don't know if that once was too strong for them or if it was too weak for them. <laughs> yeah. But they invite me once a year to preach at that Rising Star Baptist Church. And every year until my sister went on to glory nine years ago, uh -huh. amen, and then her husband. Uh, went on to glory about uh, two years after she did. And that kind of closed the doors, uh, amen, to that church. So, amen. But nevertheless, it's not about the name of the church on the door. Hallelujah. Because when you're anchored in the Lord Jesus, uh, you have what you have. Yeah. You say what you mean, and you mean what you say. Amen. Anchored in uh, the Lord Jesus. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. In other words, dedicated to, to Jesus yes. in any way, any way, yes. any way yes. that he want to use us. Yes. Glory to God. In other words, we, we, won't, we won't sway one way or the other. We'll be dedicated yes. to the cause of, of the Lord Jesus. How do I know when I'm dedicated to a Jesus? The word, of God. the word of God. The word of God will find you when you're right. Yes. The word of God will find you when you're wrong. Yes. Glory yes. to God. And I got news for everybody that's listening to me. The Holy Ghost in you will right every wrong. Yes. Oh, yes, it will. Glory to God. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad that I, I, I came up in this place. The Miracle House of Prayer when, uh, amen, it was 15 years old uh, when I joined the church. And the steadfastness of the people of God, the leaders of this church, they were anchored in the Lord Jesus. They told the truth, whether you liked it or whether you didn't. And I like that. Why? Because the word of God said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yes, come on. Hallelujah. Now I know that the word said, uh, who a uh, him uh, that the son set free is free indeed. Now that's scripture also. But I, but I just love uh, amen, the, the, the scripture that said, ye shall know the truth. The truth is the word of God. And it will make you free. Hallelujah. Anchor in the Lord Jesus. Let me read, if you would go with me, to the book of 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, and we're just going to read a few verses from there. 1 Corinthians 15 and 9. And Paul said to the church of Corinth, For I am the least of the apostles that am not meet to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. Can you imagine the apostle Paul wrote 13 books in the New Testament. Can you imagine him being that humble 
Because you see, now we know that Paul was Saul. And Saul went by killing, persecuting the saints and the people of God. But when he was translated on the road to Damascus, he was no longer Saul. Because why? He had a turnaround. A change was made in his life. Glory to God. And he became anchored and dedicated yes. to the Lord Jesus. Yes. That's the way God wants his people to be. Yes. He don't want us to be wishy-washy. Yes. Sometime up, yes. sometime down, uh -huh. almost there about to the ground. Come oh on. no, come on. Come on, no, no, yes. no, no. He wants us to be steadfast yes. and movable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. And here Paul, here Saul was, amen, after he was uh, converted to Paul, testifying to the saints of God at the rent. And he went on to say in that 10th verse, 1 Corinthians 15 and 10, you see, he said, but, the, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. You see, by the grace of God, he knew what he had been. He knew that he was a persecutor of the saints of God. He knew that he did wrong to the people of God that didn't deserve to do wrong. He knew he, who he was. But in that 10th verse, First Corinthians 15 and 10, he says, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. I am, what I am. You see, he had made a turnaround. He had made a 100% turnaround. A 100 degree turnaround. A 100 degree turnaround. You see, amen, sometimes a, a, a people that give up half of their sin, yeah. but they want to hold on to the other half. Mm. They'll give up a quarter of their mess, and they want to hold on to the other 75% sin. Uh -huh. But when, when you get anchored in the Lord, uh -huh. you lay it all on the altar. Yeah. Yeah. And you go to God in prayer. Yeah. And let him know, here I am. Yeah. I don't want to be what I used to be. And that's one thing about it. I say it all the time. We all uh, ex somethings. We we used to be something before we became saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and that with the mighty burden and fire. Come on, we all used to be something. We don't we don't we don't want to start no testimony service here right now. And, and, and ask you where you come from. We, we, no, we're not going to do that. I might tell you where I came from. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Why? Because I'm not ashamed of the gospel I preach. Yeah. Glory to God. I'm not ashamed of my deliverance. So. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not ashamed yeah. that the Lord can keep you from sinning 55 years. Oh. I, I'm not ashamed of it. I am glad to, to share with the whole world. That if you want to be kept, Jesus is a keeper. Yes, yes. No, Chandelier. Yes, yes. If you want to be kept, yes. Jesus is a keeper. Yes, yes. Now, one thing about it. Jesus. We cannot entertain the thoughts of the devil okay. and be angry in the Lord. Yes, right. Now, I, I didn't say that we couldn't be tempted by the devil. See, the devil is a spirit. And, and, and he's right there at the door to tempt you every day. But if you do like this, do like Jesus did. He's got a perfect example. It's written in the Word of God. When the devil came to tempt him, Jesus said, Get behind me, Satan. Come on, you see how to talk to him? You, you, you scared of getting off your territory? Huh. Well, you don't have to be. Hmm. 
Because the greater he lives on the inside of us, yes. that he lives in the world. Yes. Jesus, the hope of glory, yes. lives on the inside of us. Yes. And he said unto us, his people, his followers, I give you power yes. over all of the powers of the enemy. Yes. Do you believe? Yes. Do you believe the word? The word is written. For it is written. Yeah. Yes, it is. I have not seen. Yeah. Ear has not heard. Yeah. Neither have it entered into the heart of man. Yeah. The things that which the Lord has prepared for them that love him. Yeah. Love him. Yeah. Love him with your whole yeah. heart. Ooh. Be completely dedicated to him. Yeah. Be completely sold out to him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Anchor in the Lord Jesus. The 15th chapter, the 10th verse. I had said that I'm going to try my best not to get too excited today, y'all. But y'all will excuse me. The hope of glory is having his way. And reading the rest of that verse, and Paul said, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. Ooh, glory to God. His grace, the grace of God that was bestowed upon Paul, he said to the Corinthian church, was not in vain. Was not in vain. Hallelujah. Because sisters made a good song when they made that song about, I guess, about 30 years ago. It was not living in vain. And then they went on and answered. And they said, no, 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 no. Or something like that. Hallelujah. Whatever we do, it's not in vain. When the grace of God is upon us. When the mercy of God is upon us. Yeah. Hallelujah. We can anchor ourselves in the Lord Jesus. Yeah. And listen, no matter who turns, because listen, since I've been saved, and since you've been saved, yeah. you've seen it on television and you've heard about it. Yeah. Bishops, evangelists, mm -hmm. saints of God. That were really saints of God. Uh -huh. But they got thrown off course. Mm -hmm. What a terrible thing. Terrible. To once know the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. And they get thrown off course. Mm -hmm. What a terrible thing. Yeah, yeah. There is no better place to go. There is no better person to love mm -hmm. except the Lord Jesus. And to turn from it. That means that they wasn't totally anchored in Jesus. When you are totally anchored in Jesus, you you have a fight with the devil, but you'll come out with the victory every time. Somebody say every time. Come on, come on, let the church say every time. Let the church say, I'm going to walk in victory. Uh-uh. 
Yep. You thank God for the grace yes. that kept you. Yes. Ooh, yes, God. Yes. You thank God for the grace that gave you strength to stand against the vows of the devil. Yes. Oh, God, believe me. Yes. Believe me. You you living in this society here now, and you know that he be going to and fro. Uh -huh. Seeking whom he may devour. Look at look at what's happening on television. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look what's happening all around you. Don't matter, make no difference where you live. Uh -huh. You can move in River Oaks if you want to. Uh -huh. It was on television just about a month ago. Mm -hmm. That devil went to River Oaks, mm -hmm. shooting and killing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not about your location, yeah. but it's about your trust in the Lord. It's about the blood of Jesus covering you everywhere you go. Everywhere. It's about the angel of the Lord that kept round about you yeah. everywhere you go. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, Glory to God. Oh, Dedicated. Anchored in the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember some times ago a man and I was driving and uh, I actually was driving and looking at a place of business at the same time I was driving kind of slow and I slowed down behind this particular guy in this SUV and I parked and went in and when I came back out that, 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 that demon, that devil I'm, I, and I know spirits I was earning it. He was sitting there. <laughs> and he had his gun in his car. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether he thought I was meddling because I was driving a white escalade, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I actually was look, looking for this place of business. And when I when I saw it, well then I turned in and parked. He waited until I come out. Mm -hmm. And he was he, he was sitting there looking. And I, 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 I just looked at him, you know, and I looked at him and I smiled and I got in my car and he drove on off. Yeah. You, you, you see, this is why a lot of this stuff is going on. Yeah. Because people are not using wisdom. That's right. Everybody want to point fingers and everybody want to want to pull out a 45. Mm -hmm. uh, now, no, they're going to pass 45 now. They go to machine guns and everything else. But you know what? We don't have to be afraid. Because the blood of Jesus covers us everywhere we go. We are dedicated to the cause. We are dedicated to Christ. Hallelujah. And I, I, I don't know about you, but I know who I am in Christ. Amen. I, I, I talk to Jesus all the time. Come on, somebody. And he, he has a list in here. Yes, he Hallelujah. And, and, and I thank him. I, I said, Lord, I, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I, I, I go to bed at night. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. First of all, I, I said, what are you thanking him for? You know what I do? Mean? I just thank him for everything that he's done for me. And he knows what he's done for me. Glory to God. I just go to bed. I get up in the morning time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Then I began to tell him some of the things that I think I'm thanking him for. Because if I told him everything that I was thanking him for, I would get nothing natural done all day long. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. But when you are dedicated, amen, to the Lord Jesus, you have comfort in him. You have a relationship with them. Hallelujah. That uh, spirit of, of uh, augmentation, amen, is not so vibrant in you. Amen. Why? Because everything is in you got to come out. Y'all yeah. know that song. Oh, Y'all yeah. know that song. Oh, yeah. Everything in you got to come out. Everything in you got to come out. If you want to go back with Jesus when he comes. Everything in you gotta come out. Y'all want that mm, line in you gotta come out. 
come out. Oh, ain't nobody in your line. Line in, you gotta come out. If you wanna go back with Jesus, where you go? Line in, you gotta come out. All right, all right. I, I know some of y'all remember that song. Hallelujah. Let me give you a few more scriptures here. In the book of uh, First Corinthians, also uh, praise God. Let's go to that 15th chapter, the 58th verse. A very, very uh, familiar scripture, but also it went with this uh, lesson also. Now, uh, as we were reading First Corinthians 15, 9, and 10, I want you to keep in mind uh, how humble. Paul was. You see how humble Paul was? And we as men, if we're talking about being like Jesus, that's the first thing that we have to learn how to be humble. Jesus was humble. He set a perfect example of humbleness. So Paul followed the the life of Jesus. And here, uh, the first step to being anchored in Jesus, we got to go around and be humble. It's a must. Somebody need to make a, a, a note of that. Write that down. After you're saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and that with the mighty bird in fire, we need to learn how to be humble. Right. Jesus did. Mm -hmm. He was so humble until he humbled himself to the cross. Mm -hmm. He humbled himself in death. Oh my God. The first step to being anchored in the Lord Jesus, we must be humble. 1 Corinthians 15 and 58, Paul also said, uh, in that to the church at Corinth, Paul said, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Yes. Now, you know, when we are abounding in the work of the Lord, all the time, being steadfast and unmovable and always abounding in the work of the Lord, guess what? There is no time to do no work for the devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that we always abounding in the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's why it's a must that we be anchored in the Lord Jesus. Not just put a, 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 a little style there Amen. A, a, a star, that, that, that's a little piece of wood that we put in the ground in the country. And, uh, you know, the one that ride the horses, amen, when they get off the horses, y'all seen on these movies, when they get off the horse and they, they take the reins and they tie it to a little star in the ground, uh -huh. amen. Come on, glory to God. Amen. No, 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 uh, that's not good enough. Amen. Come on. We need to be anchored. In the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your second step to be an anchor in the Lord is to serve God with zeal. Oh, my God, my God. Serve the Lord with zeal. What well, Bishop, what does zeal have to do with it? Everything. Yeah. You serving the Lord, you need to enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. You need to be zealous. Always ready to serve. Always ready to, to do something for someone. To help somebody else. With zeal, yeah. hallelujah. Not zeal without knowledge. Right. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Come on, because see, uh, amen. See, Paul, Paul had 
had to be delivered because Paul had zeal without knowledge. Paul had zeal, he had enough zeal to go and kill the saints, but that wasn't knowledge. Hallelujah. Second step. Serve God with zeal and stand on the promises of God. You can include that all in one. Serve the Lord with zeal. Stand on the promises of the Lord and reap your reward. Oh, come on. Come on. Be, be anchored in the Lord Jesus. There are many, many rewards, many promises that comes our way. Many promises that belong to us. Glory to God. And I'm so glad that I'm his child. Hallelujah. I better be careful. All these songs keep coming to me. But amen. I'm going to practice my singing. But today is the day for preaching. Glory to God. Glory. If I may, in the book of Psalms, praise God. The ninth chapter in the field verse. Here's what the word of God says. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day. Hallelujah. You see, this is just wrapping up what I've been preaching about all along. Hallelujah. And don't have to be afraid of what the enemy can do. The terror by night. You don't have to be afraid of what the enemy can do. Not the arrow that flies by day. So if we are anchored in the Lord Jesus, when we get up in the morning, anchored in the Lord Jesus at noonday, anchored in the Lord Jesus in the evening time, then we are go to bed, thank the Lord for being anchored in Jesus all day. Let me move on. Let me move on. In Psalms 112 and 7. And the word it says, He shall not be afraid of evil times. Uh -huh. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. We talk, we're talking about an anchor person now. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We, we're not talking about a denomination, but we're talking about. Whatever ministry you belong to. Hallelujah. Whatever denomination. It has nothing to do with denomination. We're just talking about that people of God all over should be anchored in the Lord Jesus. Anchored in his word. Stand fast in his word. Move in his word. Have your being in his word. He shall not be afraid of even tidings, he who, those that walk upright, those that are walking in the Lord, those who are dedicated to the Lord, those who are anchored in the Lord Jesus, uh, he shall not be afraid of even tidings. His heart is fixed, yeah. trusting in the Lord. That's, that, 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 that's, what, that, that's what always amazed me, amen, about the saints of God, the people of God, amen, how we, we used to testify Amen. All the time. Glory to God. That uh, I'm trusting in the Lord. No matter what comes, I'm trusting in the Lord. Hallelujah. And of course, we always relate that song to, as I said earlier, uh, the Baptist church. But you know what? That song belongs to the people of God everywhere. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. All, all they're saying is that I'm anchored in the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just like that ship that weighs a, 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 a thousand tons. Amen. And there's an a, a anchor that, that might weigh 200 pounds. But once that anchor uh, is tied down, that ship that, that, that weighs a hundred tons cannot go anywhere. Why? Because it's anchored and that anchor is not going to let it drift off. Hallelujah. 
even though it outweighs it uh, in an insurmountable amount of time. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, but what about us that are anchored in the Lord? Glory to God. What about us? Amen. That made our mind up that for God I live, for God I will die. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, come on and give the Lord a hand to our people of God. Hey, hallelujah. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Praise God. We are, we are so grateful, amen, for the word of God. Amen. Listen to that, uh, Proverbs, the third chapter, and the 24th verse says, When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Hallelujah. Thy sleep shall be sweet. I, I, I like that. I'm going to read that again. Proverbs 3 and 24. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Why? Because my soul is anchored. My soul is anchored. My, 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 my soul is anchored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. My God, my God. And that's something. When we when we are anchored in the Lord, we are we are sweet, sweet. We we we, we don't turn over in the night, uh, uh, rolling and tossing and uh, uh, heating up in the air and amen, trying trying to knock somebody out and out of sleep. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. We, we we need to pray when we have those kind of nights. We we need to wake up, get on up, get on our knees and pray. We are saints anchored in the Lord, dedicated to the Lord. When we lay down, we ought to have sweet sleep. Ah, uh, glory to God. Now, sometimes it all depends on what kind of day we have. And, and we can lay down and we can thank you laying down in sweet sleep. But, but it, 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 a lot of things that would disturb you all day. Then they, they just might affect you at night too. Hello. Glory to God. So if you have a rough day, just get it right with Jesus. And go on and lay down and get you some sweet sweet. Hallelujah. I, 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 don't, I don't know about you, but, but I, I don't have time to toss and turn. Because the ministry Every day it calls for me to go somewhere, do something. If it might be on the phone half of the day with different people with problems and so forth and so on. So at night, that five or six hours, I don't need to toss and turn. Brother Tamir, I need some good rest when I go to sleep. Uh, because I'm going to wake up to a brand new day. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to walk in his new mercies another day. Hallelujah. First Peter 3 and 13. Where the God says, And who is he that will harm you? If you be followers of that which is good. Woo, no. Woo, no. I'm about to have church here by myself. Oh, no! And who is he that will harm you if he be followers of, of that which is good? God is a good God. All the time. And all the time. God is a good God. I'm so grateful for how 
the Lord is working the work in this hour. Right. I would say to you in my closing, be sure that your anchor holds yes. and grips a solid rock. Yes. And I don't want to leave it just right there. Make sure that rock is Jesus. Yes. Be very sure yes. that that rock is Jesus. Jesus. Because he's the only one. Hallelujah. That can anchor you in these troubled times. Hallelujah. So I'm grateful on today. And I pray, I pray. I pray that we all be anchored in the Lord. No, nobody, nobody have to miss out. Because Jesus has already paid the price for our strength, for our humbleness, that we might serve him in strength. I'm quiet so beautifully singing that song, You Are My Strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Sometimes if, if, if that word don't just, just come to us like we know that it should and, and we've studied it and, 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 and we can think of, of, of some of them songs that will strengthen us. Some of those songs that will uh, uh, anchor us in the Lord Jesus. But we've got to be dedicated. we got to be dedicated. I heard a song the other day said that I pray that we all be ready. I pray that we all be ready for his return. That's a song. But, but take my word for it. It's an assurance. It's an assurity that he's coming for his church without spot, blemish, wrinkle, or any such thing. I bless the Lord on today. My precious Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the mighty matchless, awesome name of Jesus Christ. As we come to you today, Lord, we know that there are many that are out there in Facebook land that have not even heard the gospel preached according to the way you did it to me today. But Lord, let them know that this is their hour and this is their day to repent of their sins and come to you. This is their day. Those of you that listen to me, I want you today to come to the Lord. Lord Jesus, come into my life today. I want to be dedicated to the Lord Jesus. Forgive me today for my sins. Forgive me for the sin of omission. Forgive me for the sin of commission. Lord, deliver my soul today. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You see, amen, there were many that didn't know what it took to be saved. And there were many that thought it took certain things to be saved. Falling out, falling at the mouth, running, falling out on the floor, amen, 
listen, if you want to do that, that's fine. But Jesus paid the price for the sins of all mankind. And he said, come unto me. And when you came to him today with an open heart, you have joined the body of Christ. And we say to you today, you're welcome to come here with Bishop and Pastor Coleman at the Miracle House of Prayer, 604 East 38th Street, Houston, Texas. We would love to have you. But in case you have another church in mind, just make sure it's a truth Bible teaching church and go join that church, fellowship with that church so that when Jesus comes, he can say, come on in, my son. Come on in, my daughter. He won't say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, God bless you. God bless you all today. We're so grateful for uh, another lesson in our Big Big uh, series. This is our 16th lesson in the Big Big series. And we are so grateful how the Lord has been blessing us tremendously and on today he blessed us yeah. one more time amen. amen and we bless the lord and until next sunday this is bishop and pastor Coleman saying to you you're welcome to come visit us at the miracle house of prayer but also you can watch us uh, on facebook next sunday at 11 a.m and we are looking forward to you to come to our Sunday school at 9.30 a.m. Right here at the Miracle House of Prayer. Well, God bless you. Until next Sunday, this is Bishop and Pastor Coleman saying to you, we want you to think big and we are marching to greater in Jesus' name.